Blue's Beach Hut. Is that like the uh, spin-off of Blue's Clues? <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think so. Huh. Uh, uh. Well, what could... <laughs> oh, no laugh track there? Oh. That was too late. That, that wasn't good enough to be have a laugh track. Yeah. You can edit it in afterwards if you want. Yeah, I'll make it the loudest one ever. Welcome back to Deep Thought, folks. We're going through Donkey Kong Country 3, and we are Look at in... Dixie. Look at Dixie Kong when she's, like, all like, yay! She looks so happy. Cotton Top Cave, that's what this place is called. That's a block... It says Baza's Blockade. Yeah, well, that this Cotton Top Cave is the name of the world. This is the name of the first level. And, ooh, this water theme. Ooh, I mean... It's really scary. Yeah, aquatic ambience is good, but this it's honestly pretty kind of rivals that in my opinion. Like it's fucking yeah. scary though. It, it yeah, it's that's what makes it so good. It's so unsettling. Is this like the haunted ghost ship? I will say this World? level looks beautiful. Oh yeah, it's it looks a, a lot better than the water levels in the first game, and pretty much anything in the second game to be honest. I love the coral designs and the like. It's pretty much like the Great Barrier Reef, kind of. Except not dead. Yeah, yeah, bleaching, environmental. The f save the coral. Can I say how weird it is that, like, still whenever you go into the bonus, uh, whenever you go into the bonus barrels, it doesn't like shoot you out. You just kind of zoom inside of the barrel. Yeah, it just like, kind takes, of takes you to another dimension. Yeah, I mean, it still sometimes shoots you out of the barrel, but, like, now it, at some points, it just kind of warps you there. But, I mean, it does make sense in some circumstances, because, like, I don't think there are any places in here, like, bonus room-wise, where it's just, like, you hit the wall, and there's an opening in the wall now, and then you go in there. So I guess they had to compensate for, the, for that fact that they're using more bonus barrels. So I guess they created that. I guess it makes sense because in, in uh, DKC2, you go into a bonus barrel and you end up in the bramble stage when you're like in the forest. <laughs> yeah, um, I, and I don't think there's any more of that. Like, oh, oh god, if there was a bramble stage in here for the bonus stage, oh I would have been fucking pissed. Uh, I would have killed myself. Yeah, it's it's lucky. Luckily, they keep in theme with the level that that it's in, so it's all self-contained. And nothing as ridiculous as all the bramble stages in the second game. Well, there's no overexposure today. Sorry, sorry if you're disappointed by that. Well, yeah, Flame's not here. <laughs> hmm. That guy needs as much exposure as possible. No, I was talking more about being overexposed. Well, you know, I found Nemo. Fuck Nemo. Yeah, he was there that entire time. Yeah. And... This happens pretty much after every water level. Now you go I into, like that. yeah. Now you go into the cave, and th it looks this looks really nice. Yeah, it looks nice, but for some reason I can't picture this as a cave. Like, I, it, it looks like one, but it just kind of looks like I don't know, like a valley, like within the mount within a mountain. We'll be seeing more levels like that in the future, but um, in the meantime. I think we've, again, touched on the graphics of this game a couple of times, but this is honestly, like, honest to God, this is probably the best-looking kind of level in the entire game. I love this. It looks gorgeous. It's just got great use of color. Yeah, it's it's, it's just so colorful. It's so lively. And it, it's just... And the music, too. It's it's very, very fitting for, for this kind of thing. It's a bit, like... Also, with the aquatic theme, it's kind of unsettling as well in some parts. I'll give this. I'll give. I'll also give this level some credit. I actually think the um, uh, the rocket barrels actually look like quite a fun gimmick. Yeah, yeah, it, it's actually um pretty good. Although um, there's another rocket barrel mechanic that we're going to be seeing much, much later. That's not as good. Not to be confused with the Donkey Kong Country Returns rocket barrel, which is shit. Well, I that's Donkey Kong Returns in a no play in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah, and I didn't care for those levels either. Although Returns is still a pretty good game, as well as Tropical no, Freeze. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Tropical Freeze is decent. It's not a Donkey Kong Country game. Um. So. It's called Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's still a good platformer. 
It's not a Donkey Kong Country game, though. It is a Donkey Kong Country game. It says that in the title. Just because it says it in the title doesn't mean it is. Sonic Labyrinth is a Sonic game. Yeah, well, so in Sonic Labyrinth, this is yeah, Sonic Labyrinth is a Sonic game. Donkey Kong Country Returns is a Donkey Kong Country game. What I'm saying is it doesn't play like a Donkey Kong Country game should. Yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. Is Tropical Freeze a Donkey Kong Country game? No. Why not? Oh, boy. Because you... It doesn't have the same hit system. Uh, um... And is that it? Like, really? And the controls like... are different. Okay, sure, but it, it's still... You're it still plays going similar, through... you're doing... It's, it's the new Super Mario Brothers of Donkey Kong. Except the controls are different. Mario's controls more like, haven't really... More like the Sonic 4. I mean... Sonic's control- I mean, sorry, Mario's controls have changed, like, he has the wall jump now, but, like, he's mostly remained the same just because of how basic he fucking is. I don't mean that in a negative way, either. I mean, true, but, I mean, with Donkey Kong Country Returns, sure, Donkey Kong is a bit more- He's a bit more- he has a bit more gravity to him than, like, with Mario or even the original Donkey Kong. But, I mean, it's- it's still a good game. It's very well designed, and while- you can try to go fast. It, it's a lot more difficult to kind of go fast in that game, but it's, it's still good. I never said it was bad. I said the original was bad. I meant the original of Donkey Kong Returns is bad, but Tropical Freeze is all right, just a bit flawed. I mean, I, I was talking about Returns as well, and I, I disagree. Fucking I think motion controls. Game. Which they then got rid. Which they got rid of in the 3D version. Sure, I. I yeah, like Which the 3D isn't the version. version most people played. But they still fixed it. I mean, I'm just I'm the kind of guy who doesn't really care about motion controls. Like, I mean, the, they're shit. I. Well, okay, you think that I don't? Th I they're just kind of an, they're just kind of annoying to get used to. So let yeah. me get this: you like Crocs and motion controls. I didn't say I liked motion controls, I said I don't mind them. I like Crocs, I don't mind motion controls. There is a, a difference. I'm still going to tell Flame you like uh, motion controls. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, he likes them too. Ha ha ha. Yeah, he likes motion controls a lot. Oh yeah, with the Wii remote. Yeah, except he doesn't have one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Donkey Kong Country 3. Um, This is the last... uh. Um, lake side level, I, I think you could call it that. And I like how this level looks as well, like the mountains in the background, it, it looks pretty cool. It is kind of just repeating though, so it's not that impressive, but I like it. Fight the coin! I like how they slightly changed the colors of these levels, because it's not like... They did that in Donkey Kong Country 2 as well, but it felt a lot less, especially in like the volcano levels and the... Um... There was another type of level that was, like, very samey. It wasn't the brambles. Yeah, I, I think I know what you- was it the swamp level? No, the swamps did change color at least. Mm. Okay, I, I think- or may, maybe it was the beehive level, I, I don't remember. The beehive, yes, there. the beehive, yeah, fuck that. Yeah, yeah, That was just always orange. Hmm, yellow, orange, yeah. Uh, but... Yeah, I do like the different color variations that they kind of change it up a little bit. Like, changes the look of each level, makes them more unique. Um, yeah, it, it looks good. Tracker barrel track. So has anyone here played Donkey Kong Country on the Mega Drive? Nope. It's a pirated game and it basically robs <laughs> assets from this. Oh no. Oh man! Oh god! All these freaking bootlegs and por uh, hijack ports. Oh, it's, it's ruining my image of Donkey Kong Country. Is there a Sonic Adventure Seven version of Donkey Kong Country? Uh, Donkey Kong Country Seven. That would be Sonic. Adv that would be Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color, which is an officially licensed game. Yeah, and we've already talked about how shit that game is, so... Wasn't well, that Donkey Kong Land? No! For the millionth fucking time, it's Donkey Kong Country on the Game Boy Color! Donkey Kong Land was on the Game Boy! 
I didn't know there was a Donkey Kong Country on Game yes, Boy Color. Yes, there was. Look it up. What did you think of that game, THP? Or did you ever play it or see it? <laughs> Funny you say that, because I played it a couple nights ago, both Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Land and Donkey Kong Country uh, GBC. Donkey Kong Land, I mean, it's fine. Like, I mean, I, I'm pretty sure... Oh, it's not. Well, from what I played, I played like 10 seconds of it. It seems fine. <laughs> the animation seems smooth in the characters. Uh, the only thing is, if you're playing on a Jeep, an original Game Boy, you probably need a light. Well, not probably you do need a light. So, it probably looks like shit. Well, that applies to like every Game Boy game. Yeah. Which is like the, why the backlight was invented for the GBA, but that also caused problems as well. But for Donkey Kong um, Country and the GBC, uh, that game is just, you know, Whack. I mean, it's, it, it yeah, just. <laughs> <laughs> he has no words. It is so terrible he has Well, no... it's just the physics are weird, and the camera is really bad. Like, it follows you where, wherever you go. And the animation is less smooth than Donkey Kong Land. Yeah, it's like playing on a Tiger Electronic game console. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> that is a good comparison. Huh. Yeah, it's prob there's probably a good reason why Nintendo pro like never licensed out any titles for the Tiger games. Or did they? They didn't, I don't think. Yeah. Well, good for them. Well, they, they had their Game & Watch stuff, that's why. They're like, oh, oh we already yeah. we already know what's gonna happen. Oh yeah, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. No, we're talking about the Gamecom, not the Tiger Electronics. Well, I mean, I think he was just saying that because they had Game and Watch, they felt no need to license out any of their titles to Tiger. Or you know, the shit. Game Boy. Is Tiger even still around? Yes, I think they, they are. still exist. Are they still making? They stop making games. They just make electronics. I, I remember having like a Shark Tale, um, Tiger esque game, like from freaking years and years ago. I I think it was them. I could be wrong. I know there's a bunch of those type of games, like from McDonald's and stuff. Yeah, that that's probably where it came from. But uh, anyway, this is a uh, this is another unique level. It's there's a fish, and you have to keep feeding it enemies, or else it's going to feed on you. So yeah, just basically keep keep. Fight, keep eating enemies, and it won't get mad. That's how I survive. <laughs> Feeding on enemies. You get mad regardless of whether you're hungry or not. Oh yeah, good point. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, pretty much any human does as well. Yeah, oh, also, don't eat the spiked things, or, or else it's not going to no. make it very happy. It's blue fish, and then it becomes a red fish. Blue's happy, purple's not as happy. I think it turns to green, and then it, it's just like on the edge of going ape shit. No, no, it's a very light red or violet. Yeah, purple tends not to be too happy. I know because I am purple. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just a perfect amalgamation of colors, various colors. I could make an incredibly racist joke, but uh, I won't. <laughs> That it's it's probably good because you don't don't don't. Yeah, what do you think of the graphics for this game, THP? You like the look of it? Um, not really a fan of pre-rendered uh, stuff because it's kind of hard to tell like what's tangible and what's not. Yeah, that makes any point. sense. Or where the hitboxes are and stuff like that. Yeah, that's what I meant. They can pretty be pretty wonky at times. I mean, I guess it looks fine to answer your question, but uh, I really I'm indifferent to it, really. What I mean, is, yeah, I think what he means is how does it look? Uh, it looks pretty cool, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> looks pretty cool. That's, That's a good the, answer. We're going to put that on the box. It looks pretty cool. THP. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. THP Island. I guess. And the quote from Mia can be, fuck everything. But I think Sonic 3 Blast looked better. 
<laughs> no, I think my quote on the box would be, this game can suck my dick. Violet Vulpine. More like Violent Vulpine. More like Vile Vulpine. Oh god, no, it, this boss fight, this fucking boss fight. Oh, I squirt showdown also. <laughs> does anybody, does anybody it's, feel like they're it's gonna demon crab. Why are you saying floof? Whenever I play this game, I feel like I'm gonna run to a random battle, like from the hub world. <laughs> yeah, it like, does look like an something RPG. out of some. Is shiny. This boss can eat my dick. I know I say that about every boss, but this one especially. Well, it's, it's, the, honest, it, it's honestly the worst boss fight in the entire trilogy, in my opinion. It's just so fucking pathetic. So lazy as it, well. It, it's, the, it's the thing from Moana. It's the demon crab. No, I, I think I, I, the demon crab looked better than this. But it's got the eyes and the yeah, mouth. But it... it it probably does a hell of a lot more than just stick its eyes out and be vulnerable. And there, that's it. That you just shoot it like... That's it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is it. You just shoot at it a bunch of times, squirt it in its eyes, haha, -ha, sexual joke here, haha. -ha. You're, you're fighting a wall. What did you expect? <laughs> exactly. It's... It's fucking pathetic. I'm like, I hate, I hate that boss so much. But at least it gives us the final part for our next upgrade, which are the jet skis. Sexy. Sexy jet skis. It almost rhymes. Ooh, banana. Man, Funky can do everything. He can, he can like make airplanes. Why, why can't? Can... Why isn't Funky going on this adventure? But why doesn't? Why doesn't any of the Kongs actually go and like search for the missing? It's not Funky enough for Funky. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's probably too busy trying to up his game for the next Mario Kart game. Because you know how OP is in Mario Kart Wii, right? Yeah. And he's not in Mario Kart 8. Or 7. He got banned. Yeah, I, I can't imagine why. I, I I think he went turbo, that's why. <laughs> he went turbo? Yeah. Tried to make like his own game? No, he tried, like to, tried to make tried it to Mario Kart Wii. Or Mario oh, Kart, actually. Oh, okay. And they're like, hey, what are you doing here? And they kicked the shaft and they boomed him out. Lore. People. See you on the next episode, Deep Thought.